What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and today it is raining so we are in the soap studio getting some restocking done. So a few weeks ago I showed you guys how I make my DIY pain balm and today I need to restock our arthritis salve. Now I carry this at our markets. I'm slowly starting to add them to my online store and how that the markets are starting to slow down a little bit. So if you don't want to make this arthritis salve, it will be down in the description box of our shop at threelittlegoatsoap.com. But without further ado, we're going to get right to into it. To start off, I have my castor oil that I have been infusing with some pretty amazing herbs. I'm using things like devil's claw, cat's claw, um, what else do I have in here? White willow bark and a few others as well as turmeric. But I will have a link down in the description box of some of the great herbs that you can use for things like arthritis. This isn't necessarily specifically for pain. This is going to be for arthritis. So that is what I have in here to really help with that. So I've given it one last shake and it is ready to go so we are going to go ahead and strain this out now i've got my strainer here that i use and i actually just infused just some straight devil's claw that's what's in there right now is strained out that but we're gonna get this in here we're gonna let the strainer do its work. I love this thing for straining out herbs because I've mentioned in other videos that I've used this thing. Using cheesecloth is kind of messy and I hate cleaning it so I try to avoid using it at all costs. So this thing I don't need to use cheesecloth. I can just stick it through here and let it strain out. So once this is done straining out, I will bring all you guys right. back. So I have finished straining all of my oil and it is gorgeous looking. I've already started to melt down my beeswax because beeswax takes forever to melt. So I've got that in there. So I'm going to just measure out my oil that I'm going to need. And with salves, I usually do around a one to four ratio. So one part beeswax to four parts oil. If I'm using a harder butter, like a cocoa butter in it or something like that, I may make a little bit of an adjustment because I want it to be spreadable. I don't want it to be like really thick and hard to spread because you're going to be using this on areas that don't feel the best. So you want to be able to easily apply them. All right, went a little over, but that's okay. So I'm going to get this back in the melter. If you are new here, this is my Wilton candy melter that has never seen candy or chocolate. It's it's led a very sad life, but I use this to do small batches of melting because it just makes things a lot easier and it has a pour spout. So I'm going to get this back in so it can finish melting. And while that is doing that, I'm going to get my containers. Right. So I've washed all of my tins really well and let them dry and then I'm going to spray them with some 90 I think yes 99% rubbing alcohol and that way we just make sure there's nothing living in there. And I'm going to let these air dry while we wait for the wax oh. to finish. All of my wax is melted. I'm going to add in my essential oils as well. So when you're adding in essential oils, you do want to check your temperature to make sure this stuff isn't too hot or else you're just going to burn off those essential oils and all the good benefits. So, all right, and then we're going to just get everything poured into the containers. Hopefully I've pulled out enough containers.
right, so these guys are pretty much done. I'm just going to let them harden, and while they're doing that, I'll go ahead and make up their labels to get them ready. All right, so these are nice and cooled down. I already put the top labels on them because I didn't have to worry about it too bad. Um, but I need to clean the sides off of some of them, which is fine. But all I got to do now is just close them up, put the label on, and they will be ready to go. And I am going to be having a limited amount on our website. I will also, of course, have a link down in the description more about the herbs and essential oils that I use. But if you don't want to make it and you just want to buy it, it is listed for sale on our shop, 3 soap.com, which will also be listed down below. So I'll see you in the outro. All right, y'all, so that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for when we put out new videos every single week. And if you have any questions or want to know anything about the herbs that I'm using, you can leave them down in the comments below. And I will have, of course, a corresponding blog post that will be linked down in the description box going over some of the herbs that I use in this particular salve, plus some that you could add if you wanted to or replace if you needed to. So be sure to check all of those out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.